Grade 8 Math, number 9.3b, Properties of Rotations. We talked in the last video about what a rotation is and how it's a type of transformation that turns a figure around a given point called the center of rotation. We talked about how the new image will have the same size and shape as the original pre-image, but the orientation changes. And we can rotate a figure by a certain amount of degrees by rotating each vertex the same amount, or we could have a vertex as the center of rotation. Now, we've got our coordinate plane here, and as you can see, I labeled quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. The way you can remember which quadrant is which is, this is a coordinate plane. Coordinate starts with the letter C, and it makes the shape of a C. It starts here and comes around like the shape of a C, like coordinate plane. See? A lot of people get mixed up and think it's over here, but the C, the letter C starts here, and it comes around like that. Okay? So we've got this trapezoid, and we're going to use the origin 0, 0 as the center of rotation and rotate our trapezoid 180 degrees clockwise. We could turn it counterclockwise. It wouldn't matter. And it's going to go from quadrant 4 to quadrant 2. So watch what happens. We're turning it 90 degrees, okay? And this is the center of rotation right here, okay? This is our center of rotation. So it's going to go to here and turn this way. See? It was like this and now it's turning 90 degrees so it's going that way. But because the zero zero, the origin is our center of rotation, it's going to be way over here. And if I do it again, it's going to fall into these dots right here. See? Doesn't it look like an upside down and slid over reflection? But really it rotated 90 and rotated 90. See? And we measure the sides of the lines like AB and BC and CD and AD, we see that with the original image, the pre figure, the pre image figure, the measurements are the same as A prime, B prime, as the image. See? The original is the same measurements as the image. See? And if we look at the points of where they're located, a is located at 3, negative 3. See, it's 3 on the x and negative 3 on the y. And look where A prime is. It's like the opposite, isn't it? It's negative 3 and then 3. See, because it flipped over to here. So our points, if you look at these points, this went from a positive 7, neg uh, negative 3 to a negative 7, positive 3. See, because it flipped and flipped. When we look at the measures of the corresponding angles, they should be the same. Measure of angle A and D are 90 degrees, like a square. The measure of angle B is 120, and C is 60. See? C is smaller. It's more. It's an acute angle, and the measure of angle B is an obtuse one. Well, they're the same in A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime's angles. See? They're all the same. So the sides that were parallel in the pre-image, A, B, and C, D, right here, these are parallel, they're also parallel in the image. See that? So the rotations maintain the size and shape or congruence, but they change the figure's orientation by turning it, okay? So he's rotating, and his center of rotation is at his belt, and he's rotating as a skater, but his center of rotation is at the top of his head going straight through like that, see? And he's turning around like an ice skater, see? So that's rotation. Those are the properties of rotation. The measurements, the size, the shape should stay the same, it's just its orientation, its position or direction is different, okay? Remember, that's what orientation means. It's the per position or direction of something. It's how it's sitting, all right? We can turn it again and put it right back to where it was, see? And it went all the way around to all the quadrants, okay? So we're going to graph rotations in the next video. And when we're done explaining all these, we're actually going to work on these algebraically, okay? I'll see you next video, 9.3C. Bye.